Hi everybody, welcome back to The Wandering Crafter. Um, this is part two of our leather tooling video for our archery arm guard. Um, so today we are going to be doing our leather tooling. All right, so we have already traced our stencil onto our piece of leather. Uh, so our next step is to take this little device whose name is escaping me right now. Um, it's basically to cut out along those lines that we made um, to make it easier for us to uh, work with the beveling tools and such. So we'll go ahead and get started on that. So I'm just gonna go right along all these lines that I traced. I can't believe I forgot the name of this tool. It's something to do with a swivel. It's like a swivel knife or something. Alright, so I have finished cutting around all of the part that I traced out. You can see it's a lot more visible now, so I'm just going to dampen it down again so it's easy to work with. Oh, my table's not really level. There we go. There we go. So now I'm going to use... Um, First we're going to use this uh, little bevel. Um, so basically that's going to angle up our lines that we traced um, to give it kind of a raised effect. And then after that I'm going to go around with this little guy and I'm going to stamp down those edges um, again just to give it more of a raised effect. Alright, so we've gone through and have done all of our beveling, so now we are going to go back through again and lower all of these little circles in between the root system and uh, this spot to give the tree that raised effect. being so helpful this morning. So we'll come back over here and I have finished our leather tooling so our next step is to punch some holes along the sides to put in the rivets so we can do our lacing to uh, give it its shape. And I haven't yet decided if I want to stain this or not but we can just take a peek at the work we've done here and stay tuned for part three of this video series.